What's up, yo? I've been throwing out a lot of trash this garbage day, so I've been doing that for a while. All right, I'm going to come back with some more. Thanks for those bags. Appreciate you. You know what I'm saying? Throwing out a lot of trash and everything. Take a little quick break. Walk around the, bo uh, around the block. Share some thoughts real quick, man. Rest in peace to FBG Cash, yo. I started getting into the drill music scene after FBG Duck's death. I'm not an old school drill head. I wasn't even in it. And my reason for not being a fan of it back in the day or um, delving into it was because I didn't want to be like a spectator of people killing each other. Because sorry to say, but part of being a fan in drill culture, it's gonna encompass you being a fan of people killing each other. If not from, you know, them expressing it in art form, then from them actually doing that shit. You got scoreboards, you got motherfuckers, BDs versus GDs talking about, oh, the GDs is up by this amount of points. BDs ain't been doing shit. They treat it like a fucking basketball, like a sports game or something. And I always found that sick. So just because of that, I stayed away from it. I was like, nah, I can't, I can't get into this and be a spectator. There's a lot of death, there's a lot of shit going on. I'm, I'm not feeling it, you know what I mean? You know, these are real people's lives. How am I, you know? Just go in and eat these um, drill people's joints. Read the comment section. It's gonna be sick. For those that's not in tune, go into like a drill post or whatever. FBG Cash even, his passing. Look at some of the comments. You're gonna have people mocking him. You're gonna have people saying, oh, the BDs are up, the GDs are going, you know? It's really sick. But I was still always curious because allegedly anyway, you got a lot of people out there, um, Chicago drill rap scene, and I'm sure in other states, other cities across the United States that are up as far as in body counts. And they're flaunting it. They're letting it be known. This one got seven bodies. This one got three bodies. This one put two X right after his name, and now he's all fucked up in the game. You know? So, the shit, the, the, the shit is sick, but... Okay. For whatever reason, well, yeah, that's what I was saying. I was saying that just had me curious of how brazen these people can be with um, letting it be known the life sentenceable offenses that they're committing. You know, it's just a curiosity. I was like, no, nah, I can't be this bad. That's why I said before, I don't know if people really understood. I said this before. The drill culture is a parody of gangster rap. When gangster rap came out in 92, and some, some people may be slow to handle, they didn't really understand what I meant by that, but it's simple. Gangster rap, studio gangsters, let's say, Dre and all these niggas, them niggas wasn't catching bodies, putting in a lot of work, easy. He might have been doing his one, two or whatever. But these were musicians. That's why the term studio gangster came about. Because they were not in the streets like that. The early founders of this gangster rap shit, they weren't in the streets like that. So a parody of something is something to make fun of it, right? That's what a parody is. So normally, you'd have something that's real, like let's say people doing gangster activities, you'd have them really doing that, and then the parody of that would be someone not doing that, but they're gonna sensationalize it. and be like, oh, I caught 20 bodies yesterday, I got this, I got that, you know? Whereas in this case, walk with me now, being that the gangster rap shit started by some mark ass busters or studio gangsters or whatever, in this case with this drill scene, the parody then becomes them really doing that shit. And the reason it's a parody is due to the frequency and the, 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 the outrageous uh, goal of it all. You know what I'm saying? For motherfuckers to, 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 to catch this many bodies and it's known and CPD no, but they ain't doing shit. They just letting the shit rock out. And niggas are going on Twitter, on Instagram, flaunting they work and laughing at the other side that died and all that shit. The shit is super sensational. You feel me? So that's why I said this is a parody of gangster rap. And it all fit in between a period of time, if you notice. 2012 to like 2020 
2022, it seems like there was like a 10 year period because the shit seems to be kind of shifting into something else now, at least outside of Chicago. Now it's spreading elsewhere, but it was like a Chicago sensation for like a 10 year period. And it, it, it has a feel of a project or, or, or programming, you know what I mean? So I say all that to say that I've been in tune with the artists um, from Vaughn to Duck, you know, do the history and how Chief Chief did this or King Louie or Pac-Man started the sound or the name with this and that and this side, you know, I'm, I'm, unfortunately, I'm not even proud of it, but I, you know, I'm a, like a drill nerd. I know all the little tidbits, the details and all that shit, be. And the reason why I wanna do this video is because this shit is like a trap and I know it's not, it's not, limited to just chicago because everyone's following that destructive ass blueprint and doing this shit in florida over here london you know what i'm saying but tell me this ain't just a fucked up ass trap so we got fbg cash young artist on the gd side been doing his thing for a minute not quite at the inception of drill he was in jail comes out of jail i don't know what 2014 something like that rocks out he's doing his fucking thing right making his little song shit like that so the nigga wasn't dissing like dissing the dead anyway right he wasn't involved in, 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 in making fun of the dead or anything if ever he did and i'm wrong my apologies maybe on occasion here and there but as as far as i understand and by his own admission, he wasn't into all that dissing the dead stuff, right? So, he's been independent, kind of low tier, kind of unknown for a long ass time. His man, FBG Duck, passes away. Who also recently signed a major deal uh, shortly before his passing. And was on the brink of another deal shortly before his passing, right? Because it's all going to tie in. And um, so and after Duck passes, the spotlight is on Cash and his people now. The other side, BDs, whatever, they start, you know, running their mouth, talking their shit about Doug, about Wooski, about this one, about that one. What does Cash do? Jumps off the porch, starts dissing. Never did it before, starts dissing takes a picture in front of the King Vaughn mural with the finger up, talking about he got his shit splat and all that other shit. Taunting Little Dirk, remixing Little Dirk songs. Um, dissing Dirk's recently deceased brother. Even saying it in the song. I ain't into dissing dead guys, but something, 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 something. Matter of fact, fuck yo, so on, right? What happens? Soon as he jumps off the porch and starts dissing, what happens? Rap a lot records, or rap, you know, uh, J Prince Jr. Hits him with a deal. Watch out for the train. All of a sudden, he's that dude now. Hits his train. All of a sudden, the recognition is on him. Now his name is starting to ring bells. Been rapping since 2014, eight, 10 years, something like that. Relatively unknown. Just to the people that's really deep into it. Not on a Dirk level, not on a Chief Keith level, not even on his man Ducks level. Relatively unknown. Some people hear of him, but it's kind of like dismissive. Oh, that's Cash, okay. He's one of them little niggas around that's part of that side of things, right? Starts dissing, gets a deal. Gets a, uh, um, a record label deal. Gets more money. Maybe anywhere between six and seven figures. I don't think any uh, mathematics has come out as far as uh, how much he, he's uh, garnered or gotten up front or whatever. But the point is, he starts dissing, now we got a deal. And then he passes away. See, I was like a fucked up system. Because I'm looking at the thing, I'm like, damn, the brother didn't even really have ch a chance to flourish. He was just on the cusp of flourishing. You feel me? But then I'm looking at it, I'm like, oh, but on the flip side, he's flourishing because he started taunting death 
and started speaking that, you know, that, 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 that old other stuff. You know what I'm saying? Poking at spirits and stuff like that. Taughting people, taughting family of those that have been deceased or whatever. Got people making these posts warning him. Oh, you on this my brother, you be out here with all these chicks, whatever. Watch yourself, yada, yada, yada. You know? And he passes. So it's like a fucked up system. Because had he not been dissing and jumping off the porch, so to, you know, so to say, would he have gotten that major deal? I doubt it. Because he's been not in non-diss mode for what? Eight, ten years? Relatively unknown. Jumps off the porch, gets the money, gets the recognition, and then unfortunately passes. Now, as of this video, people saying a woman did it and he was with another woman and um, and maybe a love triangle. I mean, it's all speculation. Nobody knows any of the intimate details, at least as of the time of me making this video. I think it's leaning toward a woman being a person that shot him. But that doesn't mean that it was due to any uh, relationships or love triangles or any uh, uh, emotional shit like that. That doesn't necessarily mean that. There's women that could let their thing go, too. You know, and they don't got to be dates. You know, it's Chicago we're talking about. So, it could be a direct causality. It could be a di direct result of the shit that he was, he was doing. This and the dead. So, to me, that's just, uh, I don't know, that's messed up. FBG Duck, even though I wasn't listening during his come up, because I wasn't a fan at the time, but retroactively... Kind of went along the same thing. I mean, he was dissing um, dudes, dead people, for a minute here and there. But he turned up. And we did the song Slide. I don't know if there were any direct disses to other people's side and that. But there were definitely direct disses in um, what's the Expose Me remix. And absolutely in the Dead Bitches joint. Yo, if y'all listen to FBG Duck, Dead Bitches... You could hear the demonic energy coming out of that shit. And I'm not trying to diss the man or whatever. Um, you know, they kept taunting his people, whatever. Shit is what it is, but just the vibe of that song. And this is what I be wondering. Do people be having smoke for the producers of these songs or do they get a pass? Because part of what made Dead Bitches so uh, potent and so disrespectful it is the beat the sound of those tones the the, the tr drugs that have been induced into that music the resonance the frequency i'd say it's half the battle right there you know what i'm saying half the assault was that beat so that's a good question maybe someone in the comments can help me out do the producers that make these beats do they ever get approached? Do they ever get questioned? Or do they just relatively fly under the radar? People don't even know who the heck they are. Because can any of y'all tell me who produced uh, Dead Bitches? You know? Do they just put their beats up? Somebody random buys it, uses it. So them niggas are like, hey, man, he pay me money for the beat. I don't even know. I don't even know this nigga. You know what I mean? Like, ah, how does that work? I'm curious. Because um, the videographers that be shooting the videos, they be, get, they be getting this smoke here and there. Could only shoot this side's videos and other sides catch him lacking and shit like that. But how about the producers? But anyway, it's just my little rant, man. Rest in peace to that young man. You know, we didn't even get his chance to flourish. Flourished because he he taunted and played with uh, the spirits. How do you win? How do you win in a, in a situation like that? Stay out of Chicago completely. If you're going to use that death and taunting that to get you out of your position and out of where you are, get you a deal or whatever, bounce, don't come back. What, what, what other choice do you have? And even then, does that make you immune? I doubt it, but I don't know. Rest in peace to the brother, though.